think you've learned how I operate. You got a pen and a paper? I need you to be lively for the next half an hour. Three things you're grateful for about this event, about today, about your life. Three things, maybe five things. Three things, even if you got to find them. So yesterday, what drives you? We talked about. Remember we kicked the leaders out of the room? Minus Manfred and his jacket, which I thought the prize I was going to get, the prize might be your jacket. Like, you know, when people win the Masters, they get the green jacket. I love that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you, because we focus on channeling your hate, using it as a motivator, let me talk about what I love. So this is how I channeled it. Because if I go around hating and angry all the time, that's not going to work. So let me tell you how I channeled it. I love to see other people win. I love it. So I constantly have to put myself in a position to help others win. Therefore, I don't love to win, but I do win, right? Yeah. Constantly. So when you know what drives you, put yourself in that position. I still remember every hockey championship I've won, sitting in the locker room, looking around the room. I never screamed, I never shouted. I never jumped, I never threw my stick in the air. All I wanted to do was get in that locker room and look around and see other guys as happy as they could be. And maybe it's just my goaltender's mentality, you know. I'm not scoring goals, I'm protecting the team. But I constantly have to put myself in a position to help others win. Something else I love. I love to buy things for people. I love it. I love it. I love to buy things for my kids. I love to buy things for people. I love to buy lunch for people because I remember a time in my life when I couldn't buy myself anything. And I hated it. And so now I channel that into love and motivation. I love the fact that I've had mentors in my life, part of my French, who kicked my ass. And I've got them in this room. David's one of them. Who's not afraid to tell me, hey, step it up, let's go. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit that sometimes I need that kick in the butt. Whoever feels like they need a kick in the butt. Okay, I'm going to give you an open invitation. So now I'm going to get back into what I hate. First, I love that I've been here almost five years. And as I look around the room, I see some of the same people I've known for almost that whole time. And I love that I finally feel the true belief in my heart that I'm looking around the room right now at where we're at, where the, this event, what's happening in the company, that I'm seeing people who are really going to be millionaires, and I believe it. Yes, sir. I, you told me you're going to go yeah! up It's been hard to believe it when you told me yesterday, or maybe it was this morning, the days are running together. I believe it. Hell yeah. I, I, I see myself in Maple Leaf Gardens. I'm celebrating as we blow up Canada. I look around the room and I can finally feel it. Yeah. And here's what I hate. I hate that there are people in this room that can't make it that won't. You won't. And it's up to you. I hate that 95% or more of our roadblocks lie right up here. Hmm. Works for me, works for you, it's everybody. I hate that as I look around the room at people that I love, you've given up on your dream. Dreams. You know it. 
There are people out here who had dreams as you grew up, and as a child, you loved to dream. But for some reason, you've given up on it. And what I love about Life Force in this industry is there's not very many places where a normal person can go with drive and determination and blow through walls and barriers and make as much money and build an organization and change as many lives as they want. Name one other profession, career, corporate, anything where you can do that. It's, it's not there. I hate that there's people in this room that aren't going to take advantage of this. You're going to let it slip. What's holding you back? Seriously, what's holding you back? Nothing. We're finally in the place to make it happen. But you know what? It's not going to happen for some of you because it's all up here. So here's my invitation to you. Most of you have had a phone call with me and you know the nice, encouraging Alex, right? And if I can't get you the answer, I'm going to find the answer for you. By the way, Brian texted me and he wants to do the call. He texted me like five hours ago. Just get back to you. <laughs> you. Most of you have talked to me. You know I'm going to help you with that certain thing. We're going to get Canada taken care of Monday. Here's the Alex you don't know that says, buck up and let's get it done. Yeah. No more excuses. No more crap. No more holding yourself back. No more selling yourself short. No more giving up on your dreams. No more. Draw the line right now and let's make it happen. It's never been a better time. Don't get left behind. Because I look around the room and the fun we had in the cabin last night. Let's blow that up. That's why I'm here. That's why God put me here five years ago. I want it. Where's Kyla? Well, she's not in here. Dang it, Kyla. I want to be coming to San Francisco once a month. All right? I need your help. Wherever you're at in camping, I want to go camping with you. Guys, blow up Denver while you're here. All right? Then go back to Chicago and I'm coming out and blowing that up. And then he's going to blow up Minnesota with Julia, right? We're going to blow up Canada, I'm going to go see a Maple Leafs game, I'm going to a Flames game, I'm going to a Canucks game, I'm going to a Canadiens game, alright? <laughs> she's fine. Seattle. Seattle. We're going back to Seattle. Oregon. We're going to bungee jump off the space zone. This is what I'm talking about, guys. It's finally... Our time. Now, I get paid to come up here and say that. It's our time. Everything's great. <laughs> Screw that. Yeah. It's our time now. Right or wrong, politically incorrect, this is the first time I truly, truly feel like it. But you know what I hate? Some of you are going to hold yourselves back. You're going to give up on your dreams. You're not going to go for it. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. 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 people here need a butt kicking once in a while, I'd say about 90% of you raised your hand. Yep. Yeah. Now, here's my proof that some of you are going to let this get in the way. You're going to let your belief and your lack of thinking that you're in full control of get in the way, and you're not going to follow through on this. When you need your butt kicked, I'm going to show you the dark side, Alex, and it's going to be a loving butt kick. They didn't stop me well. They didn't tell me I was stupid. They did none of that. They didn't verbally abuse me. They expected great things for me. And greatness is a choice. It's not a circumstance. It's not up to everyone else. And the company to be perfect and give me all the perfect tools and my upline's got to be great. And I need to find your people. No. <laughs> greatness is a choice. Oh! Yeah. Who's with me on this? Yeah! You're going to need a book ticket maybe next week. You're gonna call me, and I'm gonna give it to you, and it's gonna, you're gonna, you might not like it, it'll be loving, and I'm gonna set you straight and say, fuck up, little camper. <laughs> Quit giving up on your dreams. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Do not let me down. 
We clear? Yeah. Yeah. Do not let me down. Don't get left behind. Whatever's holding you back, let's blow through. All right, we on the same page? Yeah. yeah. All right. No wussies here. No. All right. Good. Now that I've set the record straight, David introduced me a couple days ago. You're sitting here. Okay. He's not outside riding his bike. Earlier today, he was about to go on stage in like three minutes. I literally saw him riding his bike up the hill. Like, I looked at Annie. I was like, where is he going? <laughs> he forgot he was supposed to go on stage, right? So David came up and he introduced me and said that he wouldn't be here without me and that I, he knew I always had his back. Here's the thing. I know he's got my back. And I probably wouldn't be here today without his encouragement and without his butt kicking. So I want to welcome him back up here to kick all your butts one more time. Woo! And we're going to go party. Yes.